week 21, day three. Uh, so I had an okay night of sleep last night. Uh, it was a very windy uh, night and just hearing the wind howl and uh, branches scratching up against the side of the house. It kind of woke me up in the middle of the night and then took me a little bit of time then to fall back asleep after that. But I had a pretty solid leg workout this morning. Uh, felt like I had plenty left in the tank uh, while I was doing it. So I think that ketogenic refeed meal I had last night really helped with that. Uh, yesterday was also the first day of doing a level 18 on the Stairmaster. Oh my God. You literally feel like you're jogging up and down the stairs. Um, so I'll be doing it again today. We'll see how that goes. It's the same day as doing leg day. I'm just going to have to really push through it today. Um, but all in all, it's been a decent day. I've noticed my mood this past week has not been the greatest. I've just been kind of in a, uh, just like a bad, bad mood, grumpy mood, not very happy. Um, still motivated to do my workouts and eat the meals and all that, but just like not really wanting to be at work, not wanting to really do much. Uh, I'm sure that has to do with my calories getting low, like my body's just like trying to get me to not want to do anything to preserve itself. Um, but I noticed like my fuse is getting a lot shorter with people. Uh, I'm not blowing up at them, but getting really just short and uh, snippy with them, which isn't really my my demeanor. I'm, I'm pretty easygoing and laid back and pretty much get along and well with everyone. Um, but just being really short with people and abrupt and even my family, um, not screaming or yelling at them, but um, having that tone in my voice that I, I feel bad. Like I, I really do feel bad when I do that. I'm not trying to do that. It's just, I'm getting to this point in the prep where it's like, a part of me does wish it was over just because it's it's really getting hard. Um, I, like, I really just, I'd love to eat a one or two pound ribeye. Uh, like that'd be amazing. Um, and, and just the constant torture every day of that stupid voice in my head that is telling me to give up to eat a bunch of garbage and sweets, which again, I've said in other videos, I don't typically get those cravings, but it's been driving me crazy for five, six, seven, eight weeks now. And uh, my one brother who he's in pretty good shape, like he works out, he doesn't watch anything he eats, he eats whatever he wants. And he he's pretty lean, he's pretty muscular. Um, he's also taller, so you know, the, that, that helps a lot too. Um, it'll eventually will catch up to him one day and I keep telling him that but he just refuses to to change his his dietary ways and you know to each their own that that's his choice um, but he'll have like brownies or cookies lying around on the countertop or he'll have tubs of ice cream in the fridge or different types of cookies in the fridge and again I don't really eat that stuff or like to eat that stuff anymore but it has been driving me crazy every time I open up the fridge or the freezer and I see that stuff in there or I walk into the house and on the countertop, there's a tray of brownies sitting there. Uh, my mom is a wonderful baker. She's been doing some baking the past few weeks and that's been driving me crazy. So uh, we have Memorial Day weekend coming up and I know it's going to be hard smelling the barbecues going on. My dad was saying he was thinking of doing hamburgers for the family on the grill which I won't be able to eat, and he makes amazing hamburgers, and that's going to kill me. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really hard this weekend with just all the the ins and outs of life, but just got to keep going. Five more weeks left after this week, so just keep pushing. And for those of you out there who've made a resolution or you set yourself a goal and you're getting close to it and you've held strong so far, you got this. You can do this just like I can. Well, please keep it locked in here on my channel and like and subscribe and continue to follow along with me as I go through this 26-week ketogenic bodybuilding prep. And I'll see you all tomorrow.